Oh, son. Hey, you got a wanna man. I'm I'm still jittery from like I'm allergic to the dark. From being totally in the dark. Uh, but bless you, child. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you, child. Oh. Uh, where's my passy? Uh, where's my passy? I don't know. I never saw it. So we're gonna. And that's not a lie. We're gonna take these and we are going to unscramble them because this is our gift to. This is our gift in life and our gift to society. Oh. Yeah, our ability to unscrambles. Yeah, to make sense of this. We also are great at collecting and then playing voicemails. I'd like to do my impression of Pterodactyl for y'all. To be clear, it would just be my voice. Because it's a voice line, you can't see me. But if you could see me, you'd be like, that's definitely a pterodactyl. That's definitely a pterodactyl. <laughs> At first I thought, they said they were going to do an impersonation of Kojak. <laughs> and know you know who that it. is. Yeah. You remember that? The bald uh, cop. Telly Savalas. Yes. I never watched Kojak. I just know that. I didn't watch it either. My dad. It's my dad just a seemed thing. To be a fan. That was a nice impersonation. The only reason I know about Kojak is because, like, old people in my life would say, as bald as Kojak. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he was, now it's Mr. Clean. He was bald. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna do the first one. Okay. No, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna present the first one to you to oh, do. Oh, oh, okay. And then we'll we'll vice versa. It. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna give you. Now remember, at one point we really started off on this. Like the first time we did it was so promising, and then the last time we really failed. Yeah. So that I've been told by Chase that they tried to make it a little bit easier for us. Okay. Yeah. Do you want yeah. me to look at you or look at this? No, you can look at this. So each word out. out. I'll say the words. Okay. <laughs> Cake. Okay. Bug. Squirming. In. Dirty. Comma. June. Period. V. For. V. Watch. Pound. There you go, Rhett. Of course, I don't know what this is either. Watch. Out. For. The. Watch out for, for the, the. Bug. For the dirty. Dirty. Bug. Dirty bug. Squirming in the pound cake. June. <laughs> and now hit the answer buzzer. I kind of like that. Oh. What? Hit the button. Hit the. No. Stevie, is your button not working? Well, we forgot to bring my mic back, and then I was going to use another mic, and now I can't use the mic because it's not working. So you, you seem to be using your hands cupped around your. So what are you saying? I I really like the sentence that you've put together, but it is incorrect according to the answer guide. Okay. Watch out for the squirming bug. Yeah. You want me to help you now? I can help now. Yeah. I think Dirty June. Dirty June. Watch out for the bug squirming in the pound Watch cake. Watch out for the bug squirming in the pound cake. That's it. Now, I will say that June bug. June bug. Yeah, but why is there a comma? Because I was thinking that same thing. Uh, watch out for the dirty June bugs. Pound, squirm. comma, cake. Watch out for the June bugs squirming in the pound cake. Dirty. Dirty? <laughs> Is it a dirty June bug? Yes. Yeah, but where would... Yes! <laughs> watch out for the dirty June bugs squirming in the pound cake, comma... Psych, it's a period. Period. It's a semicolon. If this is right, then where does the comma go? I mean, there are two descriptors of the June bug. Dirty, squirming June bug. Oh. Oh. Watch out for the dirty, squirming June bug in the pound cake. But I really like how you went with a verb. 
yeah. of squirming. I'm a man of action. I'm with you. I'm gonna take these off. You take these off and I'll present these to you. Don't say the words though. Hello? Ah! Hey, Hi Stevie. Hey. You're back. I'm back, but it's not my Get mic, but you can't tell, but I can tell. Oh, it's a different mic? Yeah. I was gonna say your voice didn't sound as smooth. Okay, here we Thank go. Thank you. Uh, fresh. Can we lock this down a bit? Yes. There we go. Let me do it. Just... All right. Okay. Fresh. Go start higher, please. Corn. <laughs> Not that high though. Let me start right there. Fresh corn. Magician. Magician. His. His. Whistle. Whistle. <laughs> Wet. Wet. Help. Help. Uh. Cobb. That's a fresh corn magician. On the, oh, this, you got this. You got it, you got it. Uh, fresh corn on the whistle. <laughs> Wet. Wet is whistle. Uh, bless you, everybody's sneezing. Help us. We're all allergic to infrared light. Does Help. Happen? A. Magician. Wet his whistle. This is. Fred on wet. Help a corn, I know it's corn on the cob. Yeah, get that again. Corn on the... Cob on the corn. Cob on the corn. <laughs> corn on the cob. Help a fresh magician wet his whistle corn on the macabre. <laughs> <laughs> on the macabre. Uh, so this isn't quite working. Uh, a, a magician wet his whis whistle Fresh, help, <laughs> help, help, help this man. Corn on the cob wet his whistle. That's right. Wet his. Fresh. A fresh, where, where is the? There seems whistle? to be a verb that's missing. Some sort of, or just another, like any sort of connector. Wet his whistle on corn on the cob with corn on the cob. Right. Fresh, maybe fresh it's... corn on the cob. So it's all there, but it doesn't fit. Help a magi a magician wet a wet magician whistle. Wait, this, this has got to be right. Can corn be a verb? <laughs> Help a magician corn his cob. <laughs> Help him corn his wet cob. A magician wet his whistle fresh. What if it's not imperative? What if it's telling you something? A magician wet his... Wet a magician... No. A fresh magician. No. You don't need that. A magician wet, wet his whistle corn on the cob fresh. Whistle help. Help fresh. A magician... Uh... <laughs> Wet his whistle, corn on the cob. Hold on, what if a, we're, we're thinking hold, hold, hold on, wrong. what if a magician whistled? Corn on the cob. What, what if, his is a magician. Corn on the cob. I'm trying to do it inverted because this isn't working. What if it was the magician's? But you help a magician, help a corn on the cob, wet a magician his whistle fresh. Fresh. We have all the words for Fresh you? corn on the cob. Yeah, there's another way. There's a shorter way to say the thing that you're so confident is the right piece of Wet phrase. Wet whistle. <laughs> corn cob. Hey. Fresh corn cob. Help a magician wet his yeah. whistle on the... Fresh corn cob. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. It's our gift to yeah, you yeah. and society at large. Boy, when you got corn right. and cob and on, 
That's tough not to just say corn on the cob. Yeah, you can't just say corn. <laughs> just, you know. All right, Rhett, you ready for your next one? Yes, Daddy. Here, take those off and don't call me. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy is don't worm. <laughs> Daddy is don't worm. Squelch my he that comma. I like to give you the comma. Don't squelch my worm that is daddy. No. No. Nope. That is. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Okay. That is he, daddy. He don't. He don't squelch my worm. That is daddy. <laughs> <laughs> don't squelch my worm. That is d he, daddy. He is. No. Don't. Don't squelch my worm. Don't squelch my daddy. What about don't daddy my squelch? Comma daddy's at the end of it. He is, don't squelch my worm that is. That is. That is. That's my worm. That's my worm. He don't that squelch. That is my worm, Daddy. He don't squelch. <laughs> that is my worm. That is my... <sighs> I like this. That is my worm, Daddy. He don't squelch. Don't worm my daddy. Uh, is it don't squelch? Don't... Yeah. Uh, oh. Don't squelch my worm. That is my daddy. <laughs> Don't squelch worm, that is my daddy. No, the worm is my daddy. Don't squelch worm. Yep, you're right. <laughs> he is... He is... Oh. Don't squelch that worm. That is my daddy. He is my daddy. Okay, can we get an uh, explanation of this? Don't squelch my worm, he is my daddy. The, of this sentence? I it's think that technically it should be a spoken period. by another worm. Okay. I was walking the dogs yesterday morning, and I walked over a stick, and my brain told me, that stick is moving. And I was like, man, I have... I was, I'm drinking coffee, but I'm not, I'm not under the influence of it. But it's good, it's coffee. But this, and then I was like, that stick is not moving. And then I looked closer, and I mean, it was this long, and it and it was a earthworm that was slowly moving across the path. Oh, did you help it? Harry Slurp Innards. Did you help it? No, I was like, you know what? He'll figure it out. I actually thought, I was like, if I were a documentarian, I would just observe and then I would move on. And then I, that's what I did. I don't know. It's really, that was my justification for not having a touch of worm. Harry Slurp enters the May Old Baked Bean Your Comma Question Mark. Um, hmm. hmm. Harry Slurp enters Baked enters Bean. Baked Bean. Baked Bean Harry enters. The May old, old your your hairy innards slurp your. <laughs> May the old baked bean slurp your hairy innards. That's probably not it. But the comma is what's. This isn't it, huh? You are surprisingly close. Why are you but, surprised? But the comma is the hint that pull you're it, not all, the way, all the way there. What? May the... It's the same thing as the first one where the comma is between two descriptors. So baked, old, and hairy are, and are all descriptors. So may the old, old comma baked bean slurp your hairy innards? Or is it the... 
Baked beans slurp your old, comma, hairy innards. May the old, hairy beans slurp your baked innards? <laughs> or was I right before? Well, your you weren't baked right bean. before, but... Oh. You, May the baked bean slurp your old hairy innards. Yeah. Now, what if there were three adjectives next to each other? Then I would need an extra... Oh. May the bean slurp your baked old hairy innards? Old hairy baked innards? May the old hairy baked bean slurp your innards? Uh, can, uh, wait, what does that mean? I, I'm not a fan of putting a comma between two adjectives. That's not ne that's yeah. not necessary. Cormac McCarthy would never do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me take this one off. While you you're... know what Cormac McCarthy would do if he were not deceased? He'd probably enter the Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway. Yeah, he was a huge mythical beast. Uh, he seemed like a very serious person, but he was actually very, he was a very silly goof. Uh, and that's why he would have entered the Golden Tea of Mythicality, which you need to enter if you want to uh, win one of these three amazing prizes. And you've got until tomorrow to do this, okay? Tomorrow's the last day. So again, three different t Everybody gets a, a, a shiny silver t-shirt, but three lucky people will get either a golden tea, $24,000, an orange tea, get a little uh, little virtual taste test with us. Blue tea, you get $2,400, you can go spend at a mythical store. Do it. Void where prohibited, no purchase necessary. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Smoothie the bum bee, hero, shove, princess, my, my, up, and. B. You, know what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, the you're in a good spot. Hero and shove my smoothie up my bum. Be the hero and shove my princess smoothie. What's a princess smoothie? I don't know. Let's find out. Up my bum. Some somebody clapped just because they liked it. Or be the up my princess bum. Be the hero and shove hero my smoothie bum? up my princess bum. I mean, because it's not bum princess. Because we don't have be a, the princess hero. Is that a thing? Be the hero princess. Be the hero. No, what if shove... princess is a type of shoving? Be the hero and princess, princess shove, shove my smoothie up my bum. It means be gentle, but like authoritative at the same time. Right. It's just like, zzzzip. More Prin like, zzzzip. Would you like it shoved? No, I would like it princess shoved up my bum, please. I mean, that makes as much sense as the answer, but that is not the answer. Be the hero princess. Be the, my smoothie princess. Up my princess bum. You've already done that. Hold on, but Smoothie Princess. Be the hero and shove smoothie my Smoothie Princess sounds like a store. Shove my smoothie. Be the hero and shove my princess up my bum. What if it's be the princess and shove my smoothie up my hero bum? <laughs> <laughs> you know. As the opposed to my villain bum. The bum that's playing on camera. The hero oh. bum. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. a technical film term. Yeah. Bring in the hero. No, bum. Was was be the hero right? Um, partially. You're missing a descriptor that doesn't really make sense. You were correct when you <laughs> were trying make sense, to guys, shove the. Then this game doesn't work. Bum. Come on, work with us here. Be the, be the shove hero. Nope. Be the smoothie hero. 
Be the princess hero. Yeah. We, uh, be yeah. the princess hero. <laughs> Guys, what? And what? Not, not only sense. the. This. We, not, not only the princess hero. Yeah, be the princess hero. No. <laughs> be princess hero. Not only the princess hero, but. My. This movie. Yeah. Be my princess hero and shove this my smooth the smoothie up my butt. up my be the princess hero and shove this smoothie up my bum. Uh, that's tough, guys. Our gift to you. It's tough. I gotta say, it's tough. It's tough. And finally, and finally, let's do one more. I'm just glad the lights are on. Okay, here we go. Period. Okay. Lip. Middle. Crust. Warm. V. Of. Upper. Forming. Upper crust. A. Forming a. In. Forming a. Haunted. Haunted. Is. Okay, so you've got upper crust. You can also have middle crust. You could have could, upper lip, too. You could upper lip. Yeah, I definitely like upper lip. You could also have a haunted crust. You could have but a usually you have a warm forming crust. Warm. Something is forming in the middle of a crust. This is mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> a... A middle crust <laughs> is yeah. forming in. No. Oh, you're, you're, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Middle crust is forming in a warm middle crust. It's the forming middle in, of. in the. In the middle of my upper lip, in the middle of a, in the middle of a haunted, warm crust yes. is forming in the middle of a haunted upper <sighs> lip. <laughs> yes! Yeah! And what does that mean? <laughs> Don't miss your chance to win our biggest prize ever. Enter to win the Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway now at mythical.com.